you guys are all having an amazing day today. I am joined by Casper today who I decided to take out because I haven't handled him in a minute and I know you guys love seeing Casper. He is magnificent. So in today's video, I figured it would just be kind of a discussion of what reptile should I be getting next. Um, as you guys know, Flounder recently passed away and it is really, really sad and I don't know, I instantly was like, I'm never getting a chameleon again because it is so heartbreaking and I get so attached to chameleons. I don't know what it is about them, but I just, they have my heart. <laughs> like, it is such a deep love that I have for them and losing them is just so difficult for me to deal with. Um, but now that some time has passed, I'm like, you know, am I ready to have my heart broken again and go through it again and get another chameleon it's on my mind but at the same time I'm also leaving my options open to maybe doing something different so I figured I would just make it a video and let you guys know like what I'm thinking and nothing is set in stone at all right now I'm just I'm just having thoughts and I would love to hear your guys' thoughts as well Casper you're so cute Chacho is just staring at him like what is going on um so yeah here's the here's the thing if I had horizontal space in my reptile room which I absolutely do not <laughs> like at all um I would instantly I think get another ball python right now I would love to have a third ball python I feel like my ball python family would be complete if I had a third but I don't have the space. So that's absolutely not an option whatsoever. Um, right now what I have is I'm actually getting rid of the two by two by four that I kept flounder in obviously because I think that that entire enclosure is contaminated, especially because I built a naturalistic background. I could try to knock out the naturalistic background and like scrape it all off and build a new one and start over. But honestly, I just, I think that I just want to get rid of the whole thing and just be safe. And um, as you guys know, I work at Zen Habitats and they know about the situation. So they actually offered to send me a new enclosure for free. And I only have space in that one corner of my room where Flounder's enclosure was. And that enclosure just fit so perfectly. So that is what I'm having Zen send me. It's actually on the way right now. And for anyone that's interested in Zen Habitats, a lot of stuff was on back order for a while. Right now, a lot of the stuff is back in stock. So definitely check it out if you're interested in getting a Zen Habitat because they're back. And I'm sure they're gonna sell out very quickly because they have been a lot lately. They've been, uh, there's been a lot of back orders because everyone is ordering and they can't keep up, so. They're trying to work on that. There's going to be a lot of new exciting things coming at Zen, by the way, that I can't reveal yet, but just pay attention. Things are coming. It's going to be very exciting. So anyway, I'm getting a new 2x2x4 two by two by enclosure that's going to go exactly where the old one was. That is the only space that I have left, and I am trying to decide what on earth I could put in there. And I know that like as reptile keepers, I see this all the time. You have like something happen and then you have an empty enclosure and you're like, what can I use this for? And it's always like an opportunity to put something in it. So that's where I'm at right now. And that's what I'm trying to figure out. My initial thought was it would be really cool. I've seen someone else do it on social media and it was amazing. Um, they did a two by two by four for a ton of white tree frogs. Not a ton. I'm sure it was probably like four White's tree frogs, uh, but that would be a lot of space and that would be really cool for them. Uh, White's tree frogs are one of the animals that it's like okay to actually keep with others. Normally that's not something that I recommend whatsoever, but for that type of animal it does work. And I think that that would be really fun to just make a whole naturalistic 2x2x4 two by two by setup for some White's tree frogs. So that's an option. Tell me what you guys think about that because I feel like that would be so much fun and I love White's tree frogs. Tree frogs in general are my favorite frogs. I love Janamba, don't get me wrong, but um, yeah, tree frogs for me, 
are my favorite frogs. So that that's an option right now. Um, again, I'm still considering maybe just another chameleon. Just I you guys here's the thing: a lot of reptiles are nocturnal. That is a species that is awake during the day and I'm awake during the day. And with the location of where that enclosure is, I work in my room all day and I want to be able to look across the room and see an animal. And like, that's one of the hardest things about losing flounder is I'm realizing I would just be looking at him all day long. And now it's just an empty enclosure and there's no one there. So that's also another reason that kind of makes me want to get another chameleon because they're just so active during the day and they're always just right there and i miss that so much so and i love frams cam so obviously i would go there to get another chameleon and yeah i'm considering it i know you guys are probably like do something new i know but i love the chameleon so much so it's it's a really heavy contender on my list what other species would I like to keep? Something kind of unrealistic that would not work in a 2x2x4 two by two by would be a water dragon. I have always wanted a water dragon since I was a little kid. I just thought that they were the coolest things ever. I still do. I think that they are just so gorgeous, so interesting, and I love the tropical environment that they need. Like that is my aesthetic. That's what I want to look at. That's what I love. So if I ever have the space for a 4x2x4, four by by four, I would absolutely love to get a Chinese water dragon. That would be the coolest thing ever. Another animal that was on my list forever was getting a jeweled Lacerda and I already got a Braxis so I am so over the moon about that and I can't even believe that I still have her. It's weird that she's a her in my brain. I thought it was a boy this entire time. Um, so yeah, I can check that off of my list and I'm trying to think like what other species do I want because I haven't had space. I haven't even like considered these thoughts. Another thing that I've wanted for a while would be an Amazon tree boa and I think that could temporarily work in a 2x2x4. Two by two by the thing is with any arboreal snake like my green tree python metamora they prefer horizontal space so over time I know that I would just want to get another 4x2x2 by two by two if I had an Amazon tree boa so that's what makes me not want to go through with it and put it in a 2x2x4 two by two by yeah see these are my thoughts I just I don't know if this is a super boring video but like I feel like reptile people understand this and they go through the same things and the same thoughts so it's like a process of what can I get what would be suitable for the animal is that going to work long term and just all of these questions that I feel like are important to consider and maybe it could possibly be educational. Another animal I would love to get that's completely unrealistic for 2 by 2 by 4 <laughs> like so unrealistic would be a tortoise. I, I think I would love to have another tortoise one day. Um, love peaches. Love her so much. Um, I think it would be cool to have another one. I don't know if it would be a red foot. My dream I think would be to one day have a sulcata, just like a giant sulcata if I have like a huge backyard. But honestly, if I'm still living like in Chicago, I'm gonna need a giant setup indoors for winter time. So it would be rough, but I feel like that would be a dream. I just absolutely love tortoises, especially in the summer because I can just like go to the park. Peaches is big enough where I can read my book. Chacha is usually roaming around in the woods and then I can let Peaches out and she just eats some grass and she doesn't go too far and I can keep an eye on her because she's not super tiny anymore. That's like my favorite way to spend the day. I can't wait to do it when it's warmer here. But yeah, another tortoise I think would be so much fun. What else is there? I had, there was a, I had a brief period of wanting a carpet python really bad. And there were some people telling me, they're like, you have to get one. I think I'm still a little intimidated by them to be completely honest. And it's crazy. I've seen some people, they seem so, I don't know if it's because they're being bred so much more often and they're becoming a little bit more domesticated and a little bit more tolerant of people. They don't seem too defensive. 
I don't know what it is, but when I see them, I feel like instant intimidation. I don't know if that's just me or if any of you guys experience that. It would be really cool to have one one day though. I'm getting, my arm is getting sore from having to hold Casper up like this. Oh my God. Whew, we're working out today. Um, what else is there? What else, Chachi? Should we get another dog? I would love to get another dog. But I feel like we don't have enough space, I feel like, in our house. If we were to get another dog, it would have to be a small dog. Chacho is probably going to hate his life until he gets used to it. Um, but yeah, eventually I would love to get another dog. My dream dog would be like a German Shepherd. I don't know if I have the energy to deal with that anymore, though. So smaller ones are just so much more like compact and easier to like transport because Chacho comes with us literally everywhere. So yeah, I don't know. I'm really coming to a blank thinking about other animals I could fit in a two by two by four. So if you guys have ideas, leave it in the comment section. Let me know because right now I'm just considering options and maybe one day I'll make a decision. But for now, we're just blissfully considering and thinking about all of the many possibilities that are out there until I can make a decision. So yeah, this was a really random video. I feel like I'm just like FaceTiming a friend or something about this, but I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that you guys are having an amazing week. Um, thank you for dealing with my less videos. I was so sick last weekend and I could not make a video, so I'm feeling much better now. So I was like, I can do it today. Um, but yeah, I appreciate you guys and I hope that you guys are having the best day ever and I will see you guys in the next video.